As the Hudson Hornet from Cars once said, turn right to go left. You may be thinking, what can a 2006 animated film do to help my biking? Well, actually a lot. As a downhiller at heart, I've always looked for ways to slam into the corner at the higher pace. By doing what the Hornet said, we can do just that. By making a small turn in the opposite direction of the corner, not only does it naturally lean the bike on its side, but it also places us higher on the berm where we can carry more speed. It's a small technique, but can equate to big gains. Pushing it up into there, gives you a ton of speed through here. When learning to counter steer, we don't want to begin the corner by turning left into the berm. What we want to do is allow the bike to naturally lean over with a small turn to the left. When we turn left, the weight will shift and will cause the bike to roll over. When it rolls over like so, we can enter the berm and match the angle of said berm. Start small. The movement isn't big and is only meant to initiate the turn. In doing this, you'll start to realize the higher speeds you can carry into the corner based on the higher path. Here we have two riders coming into the berm. The one who doesn't counter steer has to slow more and has a smaller radius to turn. But by counter steering, the rider is able to expand the radius of the turn and be faster throughout the turn. While those two clips only show a small difference in speed, it can add up to a big difference over the length of the trail. One last thing to remember is with the increased speed, we need to keep our head up and look further down the trail so we don't get caught off guard. I hope this tip can help you to start railing berms with the best of them. Until then, this has been Trail Chasers, and I'll catch you on the trails. Bye bye. Crikey, we got one on the move. This Adam is very fair, so move very quickly. But as you can see, he's in within distance. Now the Adams ride these metal objects. Very cool, very nice, typical Adam bike. Now the Adam likes to survive off the bark of the tree. As you can see, an Adam has attacked this tree with a lot of food. It's a typical Adam behavior. 